Hello, welcome to Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. I'm Jackie McKeever on Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. We talk about faith, finances, books, and business. Why? Because your victory starts here. It starts with a conversation. Remember, you can find a video version of this episode on my YouTube channel. To find my YouTube channel, you just simply go to www.jackiemckeever forward slash links. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So today's topic is called, We All Deserve Grace and Mercy. So I'm your host, Jackie McKeever. For those of you, if this is your first time watching me, I am a business management consultant, business coach, a speaker, an author, a content creator. What I do is my goal is to help people stop self-sabotaging their success, get productive with strategies. And if you're in the market for sale, you're selling something. So that sales strategy, get you some clients. Enough about me, let's get in this topic because I can go all day about myself, right? The topic, like I said before, is called We All Deserve Grace and Mercy. Why this topic? Okay, let me pull my chair up. Y'all, this is part of this week's um, morning tea where we grab our cup put hot water in it, a little honey for sweetness, two tea bags. And today I am drinking peach. I am drinking, oops, I'm drinking peach and ginger herbal tea by Bigelow because they sent me a PR package. Y'all, this tea is so yummy. Anyway, let's sip on this tea. Y'all, thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, I hope this won't be your last. Make sure you subscribe, save this podcast. Do whatever you got to do to make sure that you don't miss this message and these messages before because this is valuable. This is My goal is to change, to catapult your life to your dream life, okay? We're going to stop self-sabotaging ourselves. We're going to get our life together. We're going to get those books published. We're going to get our business together. We're going to get our money right. We're going to start believing in ourselves and what we do, believing in God, believing in uh, God Almighty. We're going to start, we're going to start fresh and new. Okay. So let's get back to this topic. We all deserve grace and mercy. The, the, the reason why for this topic, because listen, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was not going to call this we all deserve grace and mercy. But you know what? Too oftentimes we spend way too much time doing everything but giving ourselves grace and mercy. We don't give ourselves grace and mercy. We forget to pray for our goals. We forget to take time for self to take care of ourselves. We get so wrapped in to seeing what other content creators, other business owners doing, other influencers doing, everybody that's may, uh, being successful in their career. We forget that we human and they human too. You know what? That's self-sabotage. And I told y'all before when I told y'all we battling that self-sabotage. Mm-mm, not this year. Not these people. Not us. Uh-uh. We are not letting self-sabotage win, honey. How we get it under control is through conversation, through planning, and through implementation. Y'all, let's get into this <clears throat> deeper. Now, I mentioned before, I was not going to call this we all deserve grace and mercy. Originally, I was going to call this uh, Nicole Walters deserve grace too. And this is why. 
So if y'all don't know who Nicole Walters is, she's a podcaster, influencer. She is famous for quitting her job and funding in front of millions of, of people on social media, right? She adopted three kids that she's, that uh, people that she met on the street, street that were homeless. Um, she has a husband. She's in an inner, uh, interracial marriage. She is, uh, her parents, she is, her parents are from Ghana. So, um, Arganian. Did I say that right? From Ghana, 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 however you say it, in the continent of Africa. Listen, yesterday I listened to her podcast because she got a whole new season. She didn't, she, reestablish her, her business, her priorities, everything. And let me tell you something, this girl, this lady, this superwoman, she did the hardest thing that any woman with goals that is successful can do and should do. Even if you have not reached your, the, the goal that you're setting for yourself right now, we should all do this. She gave her self grace and mercy she admitted that she was inhuman in front of america in front of everybody that listens to her podcast nationwide and yes we all know that song about alicia keys about how we all are super women but learn but know that as super women we need to recharge you should listen to her season three episode one podcast right she did not pay for this this is not a promotion a paid promotion i felt this podcast and it was like really really genuine genuine she was being like she was giving her naked truth and it was hard now i'm not saying she went and told every detail of what's going on in her life and she doesn't have to but she does what I'm saying is she deserved grace and mercy. And guess what? We all deserve grace and mercy. Listen, after going through my notes, this is what changed. This is why I decided not to call it Nicole Walters deserved grace and mercy and her husband too, right? Her family deserved grace. They deserve prayer. They deserve comfort. All those other things. I did not call it that because it dawned on me. We are all self-sabotaging ourselves, not taking time to give ourselves self-care, not, you know, right now, I know y'all hear all this not in my nose, right? I had, um, so I have been trying to recover from all this sinus congestion. I'm giving myself grace and I'm giving myself mercy by allowing myself to do what? To rest. Catch up with all that stuff that I hadn't did when I can catch up with it. Okay? All content creators, all influence, all of us, women, men, children, however you identify yourself, we all deserve grace and mercy. And I'm not just talking about the grace and mercy that comes from God. Because listen, God does give us grace and mercy. Okay, so maybe I'm going to tell y'all two more stories. Okay, because originally I was just going to tell y'all one, maybe two. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you two more. That'll make three, right? So God shows us grace and mercy just like uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about my favorite chapter that I've mentioned it a hundred thousand times John chapter five now I'm not going to tell y'all detail by detail of it it's about the man that was made whole right so that was this man he was so wrapped up in despair he was crippled he was his body was disabled and so is his mind his mind was disabled his, the way of his the way he was thinking he disabled himself for over 32 years somehow 
the 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 chapter doesn't say but he made it to the body of water called bethesda he had the opportunity to get grace and mercy when jesus being the man himself came and decided not to dwell on the fact that man was distraught because he could have said man what's wrong with you can't you see i'm the Lord Jesus Christ in front of you. Hadn't you heard about my miracles? Hadn't you heard I've been out there doing the Father's work? Come on now. What's up with you? Talk to me. Talk to me. No, he did not. He gave him grace and mercy. First, when he asked him, he came up to him. And he asked him, will he be made whole? Now the man responded, and this is how you know that he had the wrong type of mindset. He said, and I'm using the Generation X homegirl version, okay? Jesus, I would have got in the body of water myself, but Billy, Bob, and Billy Jean, and Pookie, and them would not put me in the water. Here it is, the man, the healer. The man known by several names. Jesus himself asked the man if he want to be whole. And because of his mindset, all he could think about was his despair. All he could blame do was blame everything and probably his mama too. For the reason why he was in that condition. See, God, Jesus was showing him grace and mercy because he didn't dwell on the excuses that the man came up with. Instead, him being the man he said himself, Jesus Christ, son of God, asked him again. And the truth is. We all need to stop looking at the surface, right? We need to stop self-sabotaging ourselves. We need to get in there and dig deep because the truth is the man didn't believe he was worthy. Or else why would he have traveled so far? not to enter the water. The man laid there 32 years and you could imagine if this was a popular place that he heard from it by land, you know, countries and countries heard, uh, talked about this water. So anybody could have helped him get in the water. He could have even traded his food or drink or whatever he had to get in the water, but he stayed there. But Jesus showed up and he showed mercy and grace by asking the man a second time, another time. Not only healing the man, but also giving him instructions to take all he had with him. It was like telling an inspired business woman, business person, use your story. Use what you get, get out of there and get to work. Get out of here and get to work. And then there's my story. Now I tell more about my upcoming story in my soon to be published book, Absent Parents, Time to Forgive, Release and Heal to Reach your full potential. I found that taking this journey again, restarting this journey to publish this book, that first writing a book is not easy. It is not easy. Definitely not easy to edit a book. Okay. I'm not going to be editing this book by myself. Trust and believe I'm not. 
also, I find that when we get filled with feelings that we are not enough, no matter the source, no matter how it started, it can affect every area of our lives. I mean, I talk about it in this book about relationships, about finances, about business, about how we take care of ourselves. I even mentioned depression, about our mental state. If you ask me, there should be more classes in the school about self-care, not just nutrition, because it's so important. It's so important to our tomorrow. It's so important to our people. It's one of the reasons why I needed to give this message. I needed to do this podcast. I needed to share. I need you to share it. I don't need this message. We don't need this message to stop at you. We need to share this message. We all deserve grace and mercy. Why we need to take time to forgive, release, and heal ourselves. We got to heal ourselves from feeling like we're not worthy. That's part of our self-care. Why we put ourselves to the last minute. Obviously, we don't feel like we're worth, worthy in some capacity. But I'm not telling you to be selfish because self-care is not selfish. It's a need. If you don't take care of yourself, who's going to take care of you? We need you. We need your support. We, it's it, uh, providing ourselves with self-care and learning that we're enough is a way of finding real peace, real happiness. It's a way of showing that we all are human, just giving ourselves grace and mercy. We all need your support. Listen, I'm human. I, Jackie McKeever, I need your support. What I need you to do is I need you to, to go on, make sure you follow me first, on social media at Jackie D as in Delta McKeever on IG, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, even on here if you're here, if you're able to message me on here. Send me a message just that just says, Jackie, I listened to your program. And yes, we all can use grace and mercy. Can you do that? Even leave it down below in the comments if you're able to. We all deserve grace and mercy because we do. We do. Listen, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the morning tea where we grab our cups, two tea bags, a little honey for sweetness, hot water, and I sipped on this tea, honey. My name is Jackie, and this episode of Jackie uh, of Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. I talked about the topic. We all deserve grace and mercy. I'll see you next time, go getters. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Sh subscribe, comment, and share this broadcast. Don't let this message stop with you with you. Thank you again. See you next time.